And we're back from Vegas. I mean, the road case is back from Vegas. We've been here for two weeks. We, we do live events. We ship our cameras and light painting gear to places where we, where we shoot. In this one in Vegas, uh, we found cool, cool things in the trashes. Thanks, Sasha. We have a ton of these. And today, for the first time, we're going to use that in full 360. We're going to see what it looks like. So I have my, my ninja kit, kind of going to be as black as possible because I'm going to be super close to the source of light. It's very hard to disappear, especially when the cameras are as low as they are here in the studio. So trying that for the first time in full 360. We're going to do two full spins. We want the, the video to start in the dark, then the light starts to uh, like do its trace and he turns off the light before the end of the exposure time. So then we'll see the light, the trace of light disappearing and then it's gonna become black again and then the loop will start over. Once the video starts, it's not gonna go like, it's not gonna change, it's just gonna fade in, fade out really smoothly. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's what we're aiming for. Yeah. Looks like it worked. You were right. <laughs> oh. And I have to wait two seconds for the first camera to finish the exposure. So this one is blank. And then on the second frame, I start to have a little bit of light. And then this goes on for two spins, but I have to stop before it ends. So we have the fade out. And now it's a little bit short, so we're going to try to do three full spins. question of timing and we're well for first dry I think we're pretty heavy so we got the fade in that starts right here I'm going around you then I'm going to turn off the flashlight for the fade out boom that's cool yay Good job! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> 